Hello guys, my name is Umair Khan and in this video we are going to set up IP Rotate extension for Burp Sieve. This is a non-pro extension, means you can run it on Community Edition as well. Let's get started. This is only a lab session. We will create an AWS IAM user account since I personally recommend you to use a separate user with limited access. We will install Boto for Windows and for Kali Linux. We will download and install uh, Jython for Burp Suit and then finally download and install and run uh, IP Rotate. Okay, so what is IP Rotate Burp Suit extension? IP Rotate is a Burp Suit extension developed by Rhino Security Labs. It allows you to set up AWS API gateways in a way that your Burp traffic will be routed through uh, API gateways in which uh, which will cause the IP to be different on each of the request. So let's create an IAM account. You need to click on services, then on IAM. Give it a minute to open up. Then go to users. Add new user. Give a username to your account and programmatic access. So we don't need to give AWS management console access to this account. So just click on programmatic access and then next. So here we need to attach the policies. So I'm going to attach the existing policies directly. So let's uh, click on that and let's search for uh, API. Since we only need to give uh, AWS API gateway permission to this user. So let's select these two permissions. You can also select the third one below it. If you want the logs, then click on next. We don't need to add tags. So next. And click on create user. So once you have created the user, AWS is going to give you the access key and the secret key for this user. Download the .csv file. So this file is going to create the access key and secret key that we, that we are going to uh, add in the IP rotate later on. You can close this now. So you can see that uh, IP rotate user has been created. So let's uh, move on to the next slide. So uh, before moving on, uh, I want to mention that this is not a free service and make sure you check the pricing on AWS. Uh, I have given the link in the description, although AWS offers some amount of requests with, the, with its free tier account. So make sure you check that before you make uh, lots of requests and you need to avoid uh, large bills obviously. So let's install Boto 3 on Windows first. So you can download this uh, from GitHub. So I'm assuming you have PIP installed in your system. So uh, if not, you can install it. It's very simple. So I've copied that PIP install. Let's check the Python version first. Okay, so I'm running 3.8.2 and let's install Boto 3. Okay, so it is successfully installed in the Windows. If you are running Kali Linux, no worries. I'll show you how to install it in the Kali Linux. Same process, copy the command and paste it into your terminal. Click enter. So this is going to install Boto3 in Kali Linux. So this is a dependency for running IP Rotate. You need to install this, otherwise it won't run. Now let's download and set up Jython and IP Rotate extension directly into the Burp suit. So you need to download the Jython standalone file. I'll, I'll give uh, the link in the description to this website. 
and you can download and I'll show you how to install it in the next slide. So click on extender options and here we need to set up the Python environment and select file. Here you need to select the stand Jython standalone file that we downloaded. Click on open. So Jython setup is completed. Let's install IP Rotate. So in the from the BWeb store, just click on install and this is going to install it for you. Now go to the IP Rotate tab that has appeared suddenly and this is going to ask you for access key and secret key and target host. So uh, we have that file if you remember while creating the AWS account, user account, we got one CSV file and that file has the access key and the secret key. So let's move ahead and uh, set this up. So here I have the access, I access key and the secret key. So I have pasted the secret key already and the access key as well. Uh, let's minimize this up. And you need to add the target target host here. So make sure you do not add uh, HTTP or HTTPS uh, in the target host section. Instead, you can select the radio button given below. And you need to select the specific uh, AWS regions here. So the more region you select, the more uh, number of requests you can make and then finally click on enable you can also click on save keys to save the access key and the secret key for using it next time so you do not have to set up uh, each and every time you use this extension so once you have clicked uh, enable you can see that it took some time and now it it has been enabled so uh, just remember this is very important that once you have finished using this extension click on disable do not forget this other so thank you for watching guys that's it for this video make sure you like subscribe uh, this channel and share it uh, with other guys have a nice day bye